video I'm going to be talking to you about when is the best time to repot a cactus. Now it's that time of year for me, I've been very busy repotting lots of cacti and succulents and having a wonderful time. So it's a perfect time to make this video as I know it's springtime for the majority of you. So first of all I'm going to mention the best time to repot a cactus and then the key points of what to look for when it's important to repot a cactus. Now the first one will be the time of year. For me spring is always a really good time of year to start repotting my cactus plants. And spring, summer and the early fall, when they're actively growing, it's always the best time to repot a cactus. And that's because when you do repot and you're, you're sort of handling the root system, it gives it a chance for the cactus to sort of heal over the root system during the growing period rather than if you're repotting in the dead of winter. So spring, summer and early fall is always the best time for me. And I always make sure that when I do repot my cactus plants I leave it at least 10 days to two weeks before I start to water them again just to allow the, the, the root system to acclimatize to the new soil and any roots that have been disturbed to heal over before I start the watering again so then when is the what is the main points to repot a cactus well if for example as mentioned spring summer and early fall if the cactus plant is coming into bud that's the only time I don't repot when it's coming into bud and flower because if you do repot them when they're starting to come into bud, some cactus plants, for example, Echinopsis, is very prone to bud drop if you repot them when they're coming into bud. So just bear that in mind. Say spring, summer, fall is the best time to repot, especially early spring, but do hold back on repotting any cactus plants that's coming into bud and then repot them once they're finished flowering. As I say, it can disturb the flowering. Now the key points then what to look for the best time to repot a cactus when and when you should. Well the first one would be the most obvious one when the roots are coming through the bottom of the pot. If you have a cactus plant, roots coming through the bottom, it's time for a repot. The second one would be if you've got a cactus plant that's very top heavy. The roots may not be coming through the bottom, but it's very top heavy, such as some of the mammillarias, they have a tendency to lean over when they, when they grow and you need a heavier pot to support them. So with some of the very tall, serious type of cactus plants. Now, a lot of cactus plants don't have very deep root systems. So if you need to support the cactus, Try to avoid using a, a bigger pot. It might support the cactus, but there's going to be too much soil in the, in, the, in the pot for the roots. And this can encourage more root rot and maybe the soil will stay too damp too long. So I recommend in this case to use a heavier pot, but a, a pot that is suitable for the root system. A smaller, heavier pot, such as a clay pot or a lovely ceramic planter. But if you're using a ceramic pot, a ceramic planter, make sure it has got a drainage hole in it so the water can drain out of it. The third one will be if you've got a cactus plant and you've started watering them up for the summer, for the spring and summer season, but it, for some reason it's still very shriveled. Now it's normal for cactus plants to shrivel during the winter period because they're using up their water reserves. But if you notice after a couple of weeks of re-watering, starting up the watering, the cactus plant is still just as shriveled, then it's important you take it out of its pot because it could have root pests such as root mealybugs. And it doesn't matter how much you water the cactus, it's not going to take the water up if the roots are damaged. Damaged roots can happen sometimes also over the winter months where the cactus has been kept very dry for a long time. I know some of my Rebusia cacti can sometimes lose their roots in, in the over the winter period, but I find that if I give them a bit of a fresh and to repot, leave it a couple of weeks before watering, they'll they'll acclimatise to the new soil and then start plumping themselves back up again. So do repot a cactus if you notice it's shriveling. And when you do, do check under the neck of the cactus because root mealybugs and even mealybugs love to hide under the neck of a cactus plant. So you might look at the roots, go, no, the roots are fine and just put it back up into the soil and not see the root me so the pests, the root mealybugs and the mealybugs under the neck of the cactus and that can suck out the juice from the actual cactus itself and, and cause it to, to shrivel and make sure you thoroughly check the cactus plant body as well there's no signs of pests that's often a cause of shriveling cactus but that's a good time to check over the root system the other one would be is if you go to water your cactus plants and the water just sits on the very top of the soil and it just doesn't seem to get absorbed into the soil now this can often be the, the, the wrong type of soil, but also the fact that the soil is probably very compacted and it's not taking up the water. The water would just sit on the top 
and uh, just probably just evaporate it's not going deep enough into the root system for the plant to take up the water that's a sign that the soil has probably become exhausted and it's gone almost caked and that's a good indication you need to take the cactus out of the pot completely change the soil and put fresh soil onto the onto the roots the other one will be if you've noticed your cactus plant seems to have stopped growing you've had it for a number of years and the roots aren't coming through the bottom it's still a healthy green color but it just doesn't seem to do anything people often say to me they've had a cactus for years and it just sits there never grows but it's not dead well often that could be a case it's been in the same soil for such a long time that it's just needs to be rep repotted when i was repotting some of mine over the past couple of years i noticed that when i took them out of the the pots it was mainly just a mass of roots there was hardly any soil left on on the actual uh, roots and that's a, so a sign that the cactus plant has used up all of its nourishment in the soil and it just will not grow it may, it may not die it might just live like that for a long time but it won't do anything so if you've had a cactus plant that just seems to be sitting there not doing a lot do give it a fresh fresh repot into fresh soil and a bigger pot if it needs it and that will give it a big booster for the growing season the next one is when you buy a new cactus plant and a lot of cactus plants are when you buy them from garden shops and nurseries are nearly always potted up in that awful peat soil now peat itself can be an addition to soil even cactus soil but if it's potted up just in peat it's a horrible because it seems to dry like cake um, like cardboard I should say on the roots and it's very difficult to re-wet also the high peat soils do attract things like fungus flies and fungus gnats that love to lay their larvae in the soil of peat and this can encourage you know the roots to die back as they munch on the roots it's, it's bad so if you've got a new cactus plant do take it out out of its pot and put your own well draining cactus soil on it and uh, if you happen to buy a new cactus plant it happens to be winter you can still repot in winter just make sure that you don't water the cactus until the following spring time the next one if you notice that your cactus is going a bit of a strange color and it can be going looking a bit yellow or it's looking a bit pinky red and this is a stress signal that cactus produce when they're under stress and it can be, sometimes it can be insect pests that's on the actual cactus itself but it's nearly always down to the root system so if you look at the cactus and it's going red and yellow and you don't have it in too much sunny position or the other reasons and I have made a video on why your cactus plant is going yellow so I'll link that video down below in the video description so do check that out if you have that happening to your cactus but a lot of the time it can be down to some problems with the roots and if you get it out of its pot you might find it's got root pests like root mealybugs or the soil is desperate, desperately compacted and need to refresh the soil so do get a cactus plant out of its pot check over the root system give it a repot if it needs it if you notice that your cactus plant is going a bit of a strange color the other one if you haven't repotted your cactus for a number of years it may look healthy enough the roots aren't coming through the bottom but I still recommend taking it out of its pot and giving it a bit of a fresh change of soil even if it doesn't need to go into a bigger pot just remove the old soil from the roots and put the new soil on that will give it a good boost for the growing season the next one is be when you water a cactus plant and the water just keeps coming straight out of the pot. Now when you start up your cactus plants after the long winter months and you go back into watering them again for the active growing season, it's quite normal for the first couple of waterings for the water to just come straight out because the soil has been dry for so many months over the winter. But if you notice it just seems to be impossible to keep re-wetting the soil, um, it just comes straight out of the pot. That's often an indication that the soil is also exhausted and it's not holding in any water so do take the cactus out and repot it then the other one is when you notice that the, the soil seems to be coming away from the pot you look at the pot and there's a gap in between the soil and uh, the pot there's like a ring of, of a gap all around it the soil's coming away that's another indication it's time to give your cactus a repot into fresh soil now I always like to make my own cactus soil and I use a mix of three equal parts of loam, um, sharp sand and horticultural grit. 
and I use this for the majority of my cactus plants. I'll sometimes use a bit of pumice and perlite as well, depending on the type of cactus plant I'm repotting. But this mix seems to be pretty good for the majority of desert type of cacti. And I use a brand of loam by Clover, um, John Innes number two. It's a very good quality brand. And then I use sharp sand and uh, grit and mix it. And if you want to know how I make my own cactus soil, I'll link up above to a video on how to make cactus soil in three easy steps. Steps. and I'll also link that video down below. Well I hope you found that video useful guys and should you know now to get repotting now it's that time of year if it is for you for spring like it is for me and uh, if you haven't done already please do subscribe to my channel don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos you can also follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon and for more growing tips and lots of articles on how to care for individual types of cactus plants do please check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com and I want to wish you all an amazing plant-powered day happy growing you all